Hi, everyone. So I have a very urgent message um, for the collective, uh, for whoever it resonates for. Um, if you feel so we're we're going in between different timelines. There's a lower timeline, a karmic timeline and a higher timeline. And we're hopping back and forth between these two extremes. And there's a lot of different timelines in between those as well. So it's just I've never experienced this before. I've never I don't, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to channel more and get more into it, but I've been feeling this energy. It's like we're hopping back and forth, like almost on a regular basis, like on a on a consistent basis. And I was talking to another psychic about this too, and she was saying she's you know her clients are going through the same thing. Um, so a lot of you probably feel like you guys are just going crazy. Like you guys might feel like you're just, you know. Like you're just absolutely going insane, and I'm I'm sorry. It's probably gonna be a triggering message, but. And bear with me because I am sick. I have a really bad flu or a cold. I really don't even have the energy to do this reading, but it's so urgent that I, I had to do it anyway. Um, but I'm also getting that there's three of you that are going to be watching this specifically that are considering, you know, just ending everything. You're, you feel like the universe is messing with you because you keep jumping between these timelines. This is a collective energy. It's not just you. But you almost feel like the universe is just like messing with you. You feel like you're never going to get that happiness you want. Like you're never going to find the true love you want. I'm getting, I keep hitting the number three. So I think there's actually three people here who are extremely depressed, extremely lonely right now, extremely um, stressed out. <coughs> Again, sorry, I'm really sick, but I had to put this message out there. Um so I appreciate you guys, you know, that are, that are pairing with me here. But, um, anyway, the, the, you know, the, your spirit guides basically want you to know they're not alone, that you're not alone. They, they don't want you to do that. This energy is temporary. It is very chaotic right now, but it is temporary. And they also want you to, they want someone specific to know that they're not just being messed with, that the, the universe isn't just trying to like, because I keep getting the number three. So there's three of you, I feel like, that are feeling this way. <clears throat> and you are very loved by your spirit guides. You do have good things coming in. Um, you are supported. You are needed here. Like, your story is not over. You have a lot more to do here. Um, I, I keep seeing three. So, yeah, three of there's There's three of you particularly that are going to resonate with that. Um I'm hearing Erica, I think it's Eric, Erica, something like that. I don't usually get names. Um, I do primarily channel, so this is, for those that are like looking for a love reading, I think there's going to be love elements in this reading. <coughs> I'm sorry. I think there's going to be love elements. I know I sound disgusting. I'm sorry, guys. There, there will probably be love elements in this reading, but this is going to be more of a I'm going to go into what's going on with the timelines because a lot of you that are in this energy group, even if you aren't one of those people that is, you know, to that point where you're like, screw everything, I'm done. And the universe is just messing with me. You know, like I said, the universe is not messing with you. It's this time, this timeline jumping that's been happening for the collective lately. And there is purpose to it. There is a reason for it. Um, but even if you're just in that energy group where you're just, you know, you're maybe not at that level, level point where you are you know, jumping timelines, you probably feel like you're going crazy lately. You probably feel very confused. You don't know what path to take. You don't know what's right for you. You don't know what's wrong for you. It's like you can't tell up from down right now. That is, you know, be patient with yourself. That's normal with this energy. Everything is very confusing right now for everyone. I'm a psychic. I mean, I channel, I have prophetic dreams. Even for me, this is really confusing and chaotic for me too. You know what I mean? So really just try to try to, you know, self care, take like a cleansing bath. I'm hearing someone has like a cleansing bath they need to take like you've been like letting there's like a jar of like some kind of cleansing like spiritual witchy bath or something like a road opening or uncrossing or something like that that you need to you need like you keep procrastinating, but it's like now nah, go ahead and take that bath. That was for someone specific. Um Okay, I don't know if anyone's even still with me on this yet, but, and again, it's so confusing that it's like, I, I the reading might, I'm going to try to make the reading as clear as possible, but it's even, you know what I mean? It's tricky even for me. I'm trying to navigate this. 
Um, and there's so much that I've channeled already that I'm trying to bring in. So people are kind of going in between this karmic timeline, like this lower karmic timeline and this higher timeline. Again, I'm sorry. It sounds so gross. I'm really sick. I'm sorry, guys. Anyway, people are going between this lower timeline and this, this higher level timeline. Something I just discovered, which I did not know this was a thing, but you can actually have one person be a toxic karmic for you on the lower timeline and actually be like, like a higher level soulmate on the higher timeline depending on everything, depending on what timeline you guys ultimately get onto, depending on how you guys communicate with each other, depending on if you guys are willing to like let go of ego and be open and honest with each other, if you're both willing to work on yourselves, if you're both willing to, to take accountability, if you're both willing to raise your vibration to be the people that you want to be, then there's potential there for, for love in that higher level timeline. And, um, I hope that makes sense because I know that's confusing, but I think that's why a lot of you feel like the universe is messing with you because of this timeline jump. And like I said, there's the lower timeline and there's a higher timeline. Some people are just jumping like straight like that and feel like they're absolutely going insane. But for a lot of a lot of people, I think they're kind of going in between a little bit where it's like you're down here one day and then you're up here and then you're back down here. Um, so, so yeah, the universe isn't just, you know playing games with you or anything like that it's it's like like I said it's like there are certain situations people things that are actually meant for you on this higher timeline but on the lower karmic timeline they are not meant for you they don't resonate with you so like I said it's up to you to you guys to well, it's up to all of us to get on that higher timeline and sometimes there are, are forces beyond our control I mean I think a lot of us are trying to get on that higher timeline but I think like for some of us, it was needed for us to be down there, maybe to do purging, to do shadow work for a little bit. We'll get more into that in a minute. But if you're feeling confused about someone, if you're like certain days, you're like, wow, like this person is like karmic. This would just be toxic. Like this person's a dick or this person's a bitch or whatever. But then other days you're like, wait a minute, like there's potential here. Like this is, this could be true love. Like there's something real here. I feel a very deep sense of home, of, of connection, of comfort. And I'm not telling you to like make excuses for someone who's mistreating you. Don't, don't take it that way. But it's like on this higher timeline, you're like, wait a minute, there's like a really, there's something here. Like there is a deep connection here. There is like a compatibility here. And it's the same person. It's just different timelines. It is the same exact person. But on this, if you guys are on this lower timeline and you're operating 100% out of ego, um, you know, miscommunicating or not talking or whatever, then it's it's like you guys have to get on that higher timeline. <coughs> oh, my gosh. Sorry. So that could be, there could be like a lot of confusion in your relationships because of that too, because you might getting the, you might be getting these messages and like these synchronicities or like if you watch like, you know, I'm sure you watch other YouTube readers and you're probably getting some videos that are like, oh, this person's like not right for you. Like this person's like horrible for you, like run away from this. And that's the lower timeline. And then you get other um, readings, you, you see other readings pop up. And they resonate with you too. Like both these readings resonate with you because you you keep going back and forth between both timelines. So when you're at this timeline, it does resonate. And when you're at this timeline, it does resonate when you see those readings that are like, you know, you guys could be like the ultimate power couple. Like this is true love. This is what you've both been waiting for. Um, <coughs> oh my gosh, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Um, again, same person, same exact person, but different timelines, different versions. Um, not, I don't want to say versions of themselves, but it's, it's also like the dedication to like bettering themselves and, you know, you putting that dedication in and not just operating 100% out of ego. Um, so, and again, I'm, I'm not talking about like someone who's like abusive or horrible to you. That wouldn't be that, but it's just someone where it's like... It, <laughs> It's, it's almost like it's like a different connection between the two of you 
like there's still a connection there, but the connection between the two of you is like different when you're on this lower timeline. But there's this higher timeline where you guys could actually have something really beautiful with this person. You guys could actually have like a deep friendship or a deep romantic relationship, like mutually supportive. Um, if you guys get on that higher timeline, uh, it could be the same for like jobs or for school or for other things as well. Like when you're on, and again, you're going back and forth and you're, you're going between these different, the different timelines. Um, and when it's like when you're on that lower timeline, it's like, oh, you're like this job is shit or this like school is stressful or maybe like you attract like negative people at school, but it's the same exact environment. It's the same place, but it's a different environment. Two day, two, three days later, you could be on that higher timeline and you're like, oh, this is like my dream job. Like this is actually really like you feel more at home there. Like you feel more at peace there or at school or whatever environment you're in. Like you notice you like attract like more genuine, helpful, loving people. It's like, it's like the same exact environment, but it's like, you're just going back and forth between these timelines. Um, I hope that makes sense to you guys. So I want to say like, don't, I don't want to say not to give up on this person, but just like understand if you guys are in that lower timeline that they're actually, you're not crazy for feeling like, for like looking at this person and like being on this lower timeline and like, you're like, damn, this person's a karmic or this person's a dick or a bitch. But you're like, no way. I, I know there's more to this. I know there's more to this person. I know there's more to this connection. I know there's something deeper here. It's because you're feeling that higher timeline. You're feeling that higher, what your soul is wanting to evolve to and what their soul is wanting to evolve to. You know what I mean? So <clears throat> I know potential only goes so far, but I'm just saying, like, keep that in mind when you're on that lower timeline. Um, if you are on that, if you are still going back and forth, if you are on that lower timeline, like you're not crazy for like feeling that connection, for seeing that that soul recognition, that past life connection, for feeling that that um, intensity between you and this person. It is real, but I feel like on this karmic timeline, it's more distorted. There's all these outside energies that kind of cloud it and confuse it and kind of tear the two of you apart. And, and again, operating primarily out of ego, it's like their mind gets in the way, your mind gets in the way. We're on this higher timeline. It's like more of a, a deep, you know, and your mind is going to come into play, you know, even on the higher timeline, but it's, it's like more of a deep soul-based connection, more of a power couple, more of a... Um, you know, open, honest communication. So I just want to put that out there for those of you that like have no idea where to go with this person or, or this job or situations, it's probably multiple things in your life. If you're, if you're balancing timelines, it's probably multiple things in your life where you just feel lost and confused right now. So understand that that hidden energy you're seeing, that, that depth, that, um, <coughs> oh my God, guys, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I know I'm gross right now. Oh my God. I'm sorry. Um, that you know what I mean? It's it's like you're still even on the karmic timeline. It's like you're still seeing like that spark. You're seeing what you know what you guys could potentially have, and they're seeing it too. Um, so I'm just saying that potential is real. That's not an illusion. That's not a fantasy. It's not wishful thinking. It's a very real possibility. And you know, like I said, it's it's that's that is on your highest timeline. Whether it's a friendship or more than a friendship, that is on your highest timeline. You you and this person are together, um, in some way, shape, or form. You know platonic or romantic there is that deep connection there so so yeah you're not crazy for um for feeling that that soul connection that spark that uh that it, it's like there's all this cloudiness I just see all this darkness and this cloudiness on this lower timeline but it's like you guys can still see like a little glimpse of each other it's almost like I see like this little little bit of like color a little bit of light and it's but it's like there's all this fog and all this like outside influence but it's like you guys still see that little bit of like that spark in each other it's like you're still like wait a minute there's something there you know what I mean and they feel that way about you too um and again same for same for work same for for <coughs> for um could be anything I mean it you know take it as it resonates in your life work school um even like home, like family relationships, it's, it's like th there's, there's different potentials here based on what timeline you're at. Um, I feel like your perception is different on the, on different timelines as well too. Like when you're on this lower timeline, it's like, 
you're looking at this person, they're looking at you and they're like, <laughs> like, oh, this person is just toxic or, you know, do you know what I mean? It's, it's like a different perception. But like when you're on this higher timeline, when you're in this more spiritual energy, it's like you can see more clearly. And then you're like, wait a minute, this person's actually damaged, but they are a good person. There is something real here that's worth exploring. It's like your perception shifts, your mind opens on this higher timeline. Um, and like I've said, this applies to multiple areas of your life. And I know a lot of you, like I said, it felt like you're going crazy because you're like so in between these energies of like, you know, screw everything, everything sucks. And like, oh my God, like the world could be my oyster. I could do whatever I want. I can, I can have all my dreams come true. Like, you know what I mean? Like you're, you're so torn between like these, all these different timelines. Um, we're going to look more into it. <coughs> oh my gosh. Sorry. Sorry. Um, it just had to come out. Like it's one of those things, especially if someone's like at that point with this energy where they're like, oh, I'm just ready to like end it. Like it had to come out even if I'm really, even if I'm too sick to channel it, it's like I needed to, I had to channel it. And I know it's urgent if it's, if I'm this sick, if I'm feeling like crap like this and they're coming through and making me channel anyway, I know it's a really important message for you guys. So I hope this helps somebody because I know it's probably, I, I know it's still probably kind of confusing. You're like, well, what the, like, what the fuck? What do I do? Um, <clears throat> I would say, <clears throat> oh my gosh, I would say for one, we're going to get more into it too. For one, protect yourself right now. There is, I, I saw, a, like, I usually don't talk about like demons and angels and different types of spirits on here, but like I did get like a visual of like a really big demonic portal opening. So I feel like there is more like lower realm activity on earth right now. Um, you need to amp up your protection, especially if you're like witchy or spiritual or psychic like do the protection rituals, like wear the, the protective charm or the stone or, you know, amp up the protection. Uh, <coughs> I would say as well, like, hold on try to be gentle, try to, try to speak. I mean, you can't really get rid of the ego, obviously, but like you need to balance the ego and the soul. <clears throat> and I feel like on the, like on the low, low timelines, that's usually when you guys are operating like completely out of ego. Like you're not, it's like all pride. It's all defensiveness, like putting walls up. So I would say like, you know, if you need to apologize to someone, I would apologize. Or if you need to like, talk to someone I would talk to them or like especially if like the ball is in your court especially if like someone's reached out and like you want to talk to them but like I, I would like I don't know like I'm just feeling like how do I explain this energy like don't let pride stop you from anything right now whether it's you know work school love whatever it might be don't don't let like lower energies like like pride and fear um, and like, just, just walls, like, don't let those walls get in your way. You know what I mean? Like breaking those walls down, I think is going to help you ascend with, with rising to that vibration, you know, opening your mind up. Cause when you're in that higher vibration, it's like, you're more gentle, you're more spiritual, you're more, you know, obviously like if we're triggered, we're going to be a little bit like defensive, like it's easy, you know, it, it's, we're human, it's normal. But I feel like in the higher timelines, it's like, we're, we're more, open and honest. We're more genuine. We're, we're more, uh, willing to accept our faults, willing to, uh, apologize, willing to put ourselves out there, <clears throat> you know, and especially if the ball is in your court, like if someone's like, if you know that you should like reach out to someone, like if you're feeling that, like you should reach out to them. You know what I mean? Like if you feel like that ball is in your court, like it's your turn to reach out but you're being prideful, like I would honestly let go of that pride, depending on what time, if you want to be on that higher timeline with that person, it depends on what you want, you know, because for someone you're on the lower kar karmic timeline, you might actually feel like that's like, oh, what, whatever, like this is normal. You know what I mean? Like you might just, it's like your perception just shifts drastically, like I said. Um, so be mindful of, of the energies you're putting out there right now. Um, I know it's easier said than done because, like, there's people that I've wanted to, like, you know, 
reach out to and I like I don't say anything <laughs> um or I feel like I'm like bothering people you know what I mean so I, I get that it's easier said than done but I'm saying like especially though if like the ball is in your court like if someone's tried it's like and you want to try with them then you should step up and try you know what I mean um <coughs> oh my gosh I'm sorry guys So, I did have a dream last night that I, I was, I don't know if it was like a mall, it was like this, I don't know, it was like this building, and I had these balloons, like someone like strapped these balloons to me, and I was kind of like floating, but I wasn't like too high up, I was just like a little bit high up, and then before I know it, it was like, I was like ascending like way too high up. And I was, like, to the point where I was, like, at the roof, and I was, like, shit, like, if these balloons pop, I'm gonna die. Like, I'm gonna, if these balloons that are holding me up, if they pop, I'm gonna die. You know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna fall and die. Um, and then Angel from Buffy the Vampire Slayer was there in my dream, David Perrans. <laughs> um... And I was, like, holding onto this ledge, but, like, I was getting cut. Like, my hand was getting cut with this glass. But I feel like, I don't know, it, 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 like, I think there's, like, a lot of metaphors there. You know what I mean? It's like I was, like, holding onto the ledge even though the balloons were popping and my hand was getting cut with glass, but he, like, ran over to me to try to help me onto that ledge so I could stay up there. So... I see these, these metaphors as, like, like the balloons. I feel like it's something that's, like, it's, like, fun, but it's not, it needs to be more concrete. Like, they could be more concrete. Those balloons could be more, more stable, more solid. But it almost feels like, um, how do I explain it? Like, it almost feels like maybe some of you were on that lower timeline not to punish you, but to, like, bring up all these deep, dark feelings, like, to trigger you. It's almost like, like, okay, so this person, this, like, soulmate of yours that I feel is, like, on this higher timeline, there's, like, a lot of really good potential between you two, but on the lower timeline, they're kind of, they could be kind of a dick. I almost, or a bitch, or whatever, you know what I mean? But, like, on the lower timeline, I almost feel like... Maybe you guys are, like, meant to trigger each other in certain ways to, like, do the shadow work, even if it's on your own or together or however you do it. Um, and then it's, like, after you've, you know, done some of that really deep, dark shadow work, then it's, like, you guys evolve to that higher timeline together where you guys can be together. Um, because I feel like for some of you, yeah, it's, like, I feel like this person triggers you, but it's, it's like you mirror each other. I feel like you guys have, like, the same fears, the same insecurities, the same abandonment issues. It's, like, this person's really afraid that if they were to get with you, that you would just, like, leave them. Like, you would get bored or they wouldn't be enough for you. They wouldn't have enough depth for you, you know, emotional depth or, you know, they would cheat or whatever. But you're afraid of the exact same things. You're afraid that they would get bored. You're afraid that they would leave you. They, you're afraid that they would break your heart. It's like you guys are mirroring each other's like insecurities and fears to like trigger that and, you know, look at yourself and look at those things and, and purge those things um, before you guys can kind of ascend and evolve together. You know what I mean? And I personally believe that, like, relationships can be healing. You know, some people don't believe that. Some some psychics are like, oh, you have to heal on your own. I personally do not believe that. I believe that love is very healing. I believe that you can heal with someone if you go about it the right way, of course. <clears throat> but anyway, sorry, I got off, I got off on, a, on a tangent there. Um, I feel like some of you, when you were on this lower timeline, though, be it with friends, love, interests, uh, work, career... You were just like, fuck this. I can tell I'm on a lower timeline. I want to, you know, I want to have fun. I want to, I want to run away from this energy. I'm going to, you know, drink a lot and not feel this or whatever. It's like you found some way to like raise your vibration. And I think that's what the balloons represent in that dream. It's like you found some way to like avoid doing that shadow work and avoid facing your inner demons and avoid facing those things that were, that were being triggered, that were coming up, that were just too dark, too emotional, too intense. It's like with the balloons, it's like you found some way to kind of avoid that. Um, 
but and it's like it raised your vibration temporarily but you have to have a more solid foundation to stay in that raised vibration and um god i'm sorry guys i know i sound so gross i know i'm so sniffly uh i, I just like i said i had to put this reading out there this is really urgent for some of you <clears throat> because you're feeling so lost and so confused and you're praying for answers and you're getting all these mixed messages, all these mixed synchronicities. You're like, what the fuck do I do? Which way is the right way? And like I said, it depends on what timeline you're on. <laughs> depends. It all depends on the timeline you're on. On You're going to get different messages. Same person, but different messages about them based on what timeline you're on with them. Same exact job, but you're going to be getting different messages based on if you're in that that lower karmic timeline where that, that job is toxic? Or are you on that higher timeline where this job is actually really beneficial? And then you're actually meeting like good people in this job or same with school. You might notice you like when you're on the higher timeline, like you meet really, cause I keep getting like a visual of like someone like dropping like a pen or a, a piece of paper or something. And someone like picks it up and they're like genuine kindness. And it's like, you know, that when you're on the higher timeline, you're like, Oh, there's like good people around, you know what I mean? Or you're like, and sometimes like some of you are like merging in and out. You're like, you're like next day you're in this lower timeline again, or you're like in between. And I, I know you guys probably feel like you're going crazy. Like, trust me, I feel it. I'm there with you guys. I, I feel it. <laughs> um, I think, sorry, when I, when I channel too, I know I'm like all over the place. So please let me know if I'm like confusing you guys, if you guys are able to like keep up and understand me. Because there was, especially before I started this reading, I just got so many, like, downloads, so many different messages. And I'm like, oh, my God, like, I don't, there's so many that I'm just, like, trying to, like, get them all out. You know what I mean? Like, I got these visuals. Like, I had that dream last night. So I'm like, okay, shit. <laughs> all right, let's do it. <laughs> um, I feel like this could even be wanting to, like, sweep things under the rug with someone where it's, like, I don't know. I feel like you guys trigger each other, but it could be like a good thing. I don't know how to explain it. How do I explain this energy? I, I take the metaphor of like, okay, so like in the dream, it's like, the, you know, the balloons are popping, but I, I still had a ledge to hold on to. I was still staying up there. I was holding on to glass though. And like that angel was coming to like help me. It could be an actual angel. Um, but it's like this, this man was like coming to like help me up. Um, but I, I take the glass on my hands as like saying like, you know, you guys can stay on that higher timeline, but it is going to be work still. You're not going to just get to like, whatever you were meant to learn or, or deal with on this lower timeline, you're still going to have to deal with it, even if it's in a different way on this higher timeline. Does that make sense? It's like with the glass on my hands, it's like I still had to it wasn't easy. You know what I mean? It wasn't just like simple, like, okay, I'm on this timeline now. I still had to fight for it. I still had to work for it. I had to work to get off, get up on that ledge. I needed the help from that, that man too, to get up on that ledge. It's like, I had to, you know, it wasn't necessarily an easy process. Um, in terms of relationships, I almost feel like on the lower timeline, it's like there could be certain conversations that you guys could have with each other where you just, I don't know if you call each other out or like you, I don't know if it's like an argument, but it's it's almost like, like it leads to like something beautiful between the two of you though, is what I'm seeing. It's, it's almost like on the lower timeline, um, oh my God, my nose, I'm sorry. My nose is like talking to you guys. My nose is like, I want to chime in. Oh, Jesus. On the lower timeline, uh, on the lower timeline. It's like maybe there's certain uncomfortable discussions that you guys are meant to have with each other. So you trigger each other to be like, oh, I need to like look at myself. I need to like or like I need to like um, like you have like a deeper it's it's like might might feel chaotic, but it's almost like you develop a deeper understanding of each other. And I almost feel like it might even lead to clarity where you're like, oh, like and that kind of helps you evolve to the higher timeline, too, where you're like, you know, these conversations are uncomfortable, but you're like, wait a minute, like there is something real here. Or there is like we have more in common or we're more alike than I realized or um, I'm seeing you guys ever see that because uh, I get like I said I'm a psychic so it's like I'm like look up the four clairs you know what I mean it's like I'm clairvoyancy is one of mine so it's like I'm seeing that visual of um, 
it was like a, a st- it was like this statue at Burning Man, and it's this like this adult couple that's like turned back to back, like they're they're prideful, they're stubborn, they're not facing each other, they're both hurt, they're both angry, they're like they have their backs to each other, and it's like this cage or whatever, but like in this in right here, um, if you guys Google it, you'll probably see it. Like I don't I don't know, and it's like this this cage sculpture that someone built, and it's like this couple that has their back to each other, their backs are touching, but they're like facing away from each other you know that is that is adult pride adult you know ego adult like I don't want to be the first to apologize I don't want to be I don't want to be the first to talk I don't want to you know like just just pride but then they're like their inner child is like in this cage and it's like they're reaching out for each other and I'm getting that visual it's like you guys actually really want to connect you guys really do want to be close to each other but it's like the ego and pride is getting in the way Because I almost feel like the triggering and mirroring could be a positive thing for the, for you guys. And I'm going to get more into, like, the other messages that aren't just love messages, too. Just bear with me. But, um... I don't know. I feel like these conversations would be, like, very raw and very uncomfortable for one or both of you. But it would all, all, also, like, you guys would develop a deeper connection because you'd be, like... Like, like you guys have similar things that you've been through in the past and you guys can understand each other on a deeper level. Does that make sense? It's like with that balloon thing, I think some of you are, are not wanting to like, like you're, you're being, you're making false assumptions about them or they're maybe they're making false assumptions about you too. Or you're not doing the shadow work. You're not wanting to do the shadow work. Or maybe it's like you guys are mirroring each other. Like, like I said, you guys have like the same abandonment issues, the same fears, um, same insecurities. Maybe some of you are even taking like the triggering or the mirroring as like a rejection when it's not actually a rejection. Um, or you feel rejected by this person. So you're just like, even if they're not actually rejecting you, you're feeling a certain way or you're feeling like maybe it's like you're having certain like negative feelings come up that you're meant to purge and deal with, but it's like, you're not wanting to deal with them. So it's like, you hold on to those balloons and like go up to like, like, let's just like, let, you know, I'm just, I'm just gonna like rose colored glasses. Like, let's just get through. And you guys can get through this, but you're going to have to like, you might have to acknowledge certain things. And like I said, it's going to lead you to a deeper connection with each other. It's going to ultimately be a positive thing. You guys are going to be really like how these like epiphanies like oh wow like that's why you're that way or that's why you've been doing that like I understand now like you guys are going to have this like empathy for each other um and a very deep emotional bond a very deep spiritual bond but it's like some of you are not wanting to have the uncomfortable conversations you're not wanting to let go of ego your um you're not wanting to be honest about your feelings you're you're afraid of rejection they're afraid of rejection so it's like you're taking these balloons and you're like you know i'm tired of feeling this way i'm just going up here you know and it's like with that with that visual and this could like i said this could apply to multiple things this could be like this isn't just love this could be like work or school it's like maybe you know there's certain things you need to do in school to better yourself to to reach that goal that you want to reach but you're like, fuck, like, I'm going to have to really, like, you know, face my inner demons to, like, really do that. Or I'm going to have to do something different than what I normally do. What if it doesn't work out? Um, that's for, like, someone in school, I think, or, like, your work. I don't know. There's, like, some like some idea someone has, but they're like, oh, my God, like, what if it doesn't work out? You know what I mean? It's, like, this insecurity that's holding them back. Um, or it could be work. It could be, like, multiple different environments. Like, take it. This could apply to multiple areas. This could even be, like, your family life or some. <laughs> and it could be all of the above. It can be like a few different areas of your life. Because everything's different on the different timelines. You know what I mean? It's not like... It, it's not like you have a great job down here and everything's really good, but you have this like more of a karmic triggering connection down here, but you're really happy with this person up here. It's like everything is different, I think. You know what I mean? It's like it's it's this triggering connection with this person on this timeline. It's also a stressful job. It's also it's like everything all at once. We're on this higher timeline. It's like you actually have like lots of good things that are it's like the relationship is better. There's more open, honest communication. Um, you guys are finally like admitting your feelings to each other. There's, um, like different, like, like I, I keep saying like with, like with college, I keep saying like better people coming in. So it's like same environment, but like better people that are drawn to you because they see that you're at their vibration. 
Um, same with like work. It's like, you know, again, same environment, but it's like you're happier with your work life in this, in this higher timeline. <coughs> I just thought 34, 34. I don't know if that's re relevant to anybody. I feel like, and people have free will, but I feel like for the majority of you, and I'm sorry if I'm like repeating myself, I feel like it's a lot worse when I'm sick because I'm just like, I'm not, I'm not all there right now. I just feel like crap. But, um, I feel like for the majority of you, it's like you would still, like I said, you would still be meant to evolve to this higher timeline with this person where it's like you guys would trigger each other, but it would lead to that deeper connection. Like I said, a deeper understanding of each other. And you guys would kind of help be helping each other, like, you know, like mirroring each other. It's like helping each other heal, helping each other, like, you know, recognize deeper parts of yourself. And even if it's like messy or uncomfortable or chaotic, it's like you guys would still be evolving together. For some of you, though, it's like if you do stay on this lower timeline with this person, there is that potential that like, you guys both just continue holding on to pride and fear. Um, and there is, you guys aren't healing these issues. You guys just hold on to those. And there is this deep, um, amazing connection that could have happened ends up not happening. There is that potential if you stay on that timeline. For like 70, 80% of you, I feel like even on that timeline, you would still evolve to this higher timeline with this person because this is someone that you have a soul contract with. This is someone that is meant to be in your life. Like I said, there's a very deep emotional, spiritual bond even if it's hard to see at times, even if there's chaos cluttering it, there is something really very real here between the two of you that is meant to be. Um, I also just got the message that some of you are being like, especially if you're like psychics or witches or healers, some of you are, <coughs> oh my God. Some of you are going through this like this lower timeline, like this purging, having all these, these deep issues come up, like these, um, it could be childhood traumas, past relationships, insecurities, abuse, whatever it is, like things that are meant to be looked at, to be healed, to be acknowledged, like, you know, this shadow side of yourself that like wants to, to, you know, wants this healing. I, I just heard that like some of you are I just felt and I, I can't like hear it but you know what I mean it's like a thought that comes in and I'm like oh that's not from me that's from spirit um but I just felt this energy of like some of you are meant to be triggered and purged because there's a greater spiritual battle that's going to be coming in the future um not like I mean you guys might have happy lives like I'm not saying you're not going to have like a really happy life in the future but I just mean like collectively like there might be some kind of a spiritual battle that comes in and so your spirit guides are wanting to you to purge all these things now and um so that you can't be triggered by them later because you're going to have like, you know, you might meant to, you might be one of those people that's like, you know, uh, called to be like a leader or a spiritual healer or um, maybe you have like psychic abilities. It's like you're meant, or maybe even like charity work, like you're going to do good things in the world. They want to make sure that like you've done, you know, and you, you never, you can never fully heal. Like, I don't think anyone can ever fully heal. There's always like some part of you, especially if you've been through a lot, there's always some part of you that's kind of damaged in my opinion. But like purging like the very deep, dark stuff, like going to the very like, you know, darkest parts of, of who you are, of what you've been through, purging that, feeling that, acknowledging that and, and moving through it. Um, I, I'm just hearing like spirit guides saying that like, like they're doing that because it's like there's a greater spiritual battle coming. So they want to make sure that you're ready for it. They want to make sure that I, I think it's so that like lower forces can't trigger you. You know what I mean? Like... They're, they're, I don't know. I feel like, and I know this, I don't, I don't usually talk about this on my channel because I know like most people don't resonate with it, but I am getting that there's some kind of a spiritual battle coming. And again, and again, I don't think it's like, I don't think your life is going to get hard or anything like that. It, it's like a collective battle. It's like a collective, like, like demonic forces or something. I don't know. It's like something like that. It's, it's like they want to make sure, cause demons are real. You know what I mean? Like those things are real, like demons, angels, spirits, they want to make sure like, like lower, like demonic forces cannot get in your head and trigger you. Cause if you've been on this lower timeline, like you've purged, you've gone to those dark places and you've healed yourself and you're, you're, you know, evolving to this higher timeline. Um, they're not going to be able to, to, uh, like to trigger, you, you know what I mean? Like if you, cause you've dealt with those things already, you've already explored that you've already, you, you've already like 
almost not made yourself numb to it, but you've almost like you 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 dove in and you you dealt with all that. So it's like they can't get in your head and like, you know, try to feed off those insecurities because you you know yourself, you know those things about yourself. You've dealt with all these things. You've done the shadow work. You've done the purging. It doesn't trigger you. There might always be a little bit of a sore spot there, but it's like it doesn't trigger you the way it used to. That that ex that you were in love with, it doesn't trigger you the way that it used to. They're not going to – demons are not going to be able to send you into like a depression over your ex or over um, – I'm hearing like sexual abuse or um, – family issues because it's like you felt all of it you went through all of it you purged you cried you cried you cried you went through it um and it's 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 even though even if it hurts like a little bit it's not gonna it's they're not gonna be able to just really get in your head and fuck with you the way that they would have been able to if you had not gone through that dark period um i'm also getting I haven't even pulled, I'm, I'm surprised. I thought I was going to do a card reading, but I'm just channeling. And I hope, I'm sure like if you guys are watching, you probably understand. I'm not just rambling. Like I am like getting downloaded messages. You know, that is primarily like, <coughs> you know, I do primarily channel. The cards help a lot, especially if I don't know what I'm picking up. If, if I'm like, okay, there's like a warning or there's a message, like I'll pull cards and be like, okay, what the fuck's going on? And it helps a lot. Like sometimes I don't know what the message is, but in this case, I know, I, I know what I'm feeling. I know what I'm channeling. Um... I'm also getting with this person as well. I'm also getting, so like we talked about, like, you know, you guys are meant to like be on this higher timeline together. Like there is something very real here. Um, be it a friendship, a romantic relationship, whoever this is to you, like there is something very solid here. But I, I feel like it's also, um, I feel like demons do not want you with this person. I I feel like, I don't know. I feel like you guys would do a lot of good together. Like, I don't know. I'm hearing like you would. What am I hearing? What, what am I hearing? Oh my god, a second. I don't know if it's like charity or business or something. It's like almost like a purpose that you guys have. And it's like it aligns with each. You guys like align with that purpose with each other. It's almost like there's this little spark of light in you and a little spark of light in them that you guys can kind of, like I said, it's like you get like a little glimpse of it, but it's hard to see past all the, the chaos and the fog. But that light on this higher timeline, it might take some time, but eventually it would get to like a very bright light where when you guys are together, you guys are like, you guys are very powerful. Like you guys are both, um, like you guys help each other keep your vibration high. It's like you both just have this light. Like you guys support each other. You guys lift each other up. You guys are just, it's like I just see you guys. It's like a little tiny blip of light that you can barely see on this lower timeline. But on this higher timeline, eventually, even if it takes some work to get there, eventually you guys just have like this light about you. You know what I mean? It's like... You know, and it's not like saying like you're a perfect person, you're a saint, but it's it's like you can... You can even be kind of a dick sometimes and still have a lot of empathy. You know what I mean? It's it's like you might be like a smart ass or whatever, but you still have like empathy. There's still that light about you, you know? Sometimes the people that feel like they're the darkest are actually the ones that have like the most light, you know? Like sometimes the people that feel like, you know, they've been damaged and they have all these issues and all this shit. Sometimes those are the ones that have like the most empathy or the most, most light, because I'm feeling someone doubt this, but I'm like, no, like you really do have that light. Like you don't see it in yourself, but, but you do have it. It is there. <coughs> yes, you, <laughs> um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah. I just feel like you guys would do really good things in the world, whether it's like charity or it's like bringing, um, like something artistic, like bringing new ideas to the world. Like you guys would like, sh like share like creative ideas or you guys would like both donate to charity or you guys would both like, um, do some type of healing work. I don't know. It's like something that you guys be doing together that really like impacts people and like makes them happier. Like it makes them whatever it is that you guys would be doing together. It's like, it makes people like feel good about something. Like it feel, feel better about themselves or it helps them heal. Like it's something positive. So I feel like there's like demons that really do not want you with this person. So they're trying to just keep you on this karmic timeline and just not let it evolve there. So you got to be mindful of that. Um, oh my gosh, my nose. 
Oh, my nose. So, like, beware of, like, toxic, you know, people, toxic influences, toxic things that are, like, just trying to distract you and pull you away from this person. <coughs> oh, my gosh. Be mindful of those things. Um, also, okay, so there's, like, a few different things that, I'm, that I've already channeled that I want to get to. Um, for one, so, like, a month or two ago, I felt like I was on a pretty, like, a couple months ago, I felt like the timeline I was on was very dark. But I was getting that, I mean, it was almost like end times energy. I don't know. It was really weird, but it was like, it was like, it just felt really weird. It just felt off. Like everything just felt off to me. Even though good things were starting to happen in my life, things just felt really strange. And um, what I was getting is that, you know, I was on that timeline as many others were on that darker timeline to help people out of it to help people like heal and and process um and evolve like get past that timeline you know what I mean like get onto a higher timeline it's like a lot of us like if you're like a psychic or a healer a lot of you guys were sent to darker timelines to assist the people on that timeline even just being there just your vibration your your frequency your your energy your your empathy um was it was almost like the collective could kind of feel it and and it was I know it's exhausting but I think it was helping a lot of people um you know get out of that energy and evolve to that higher timeline so originally I feel like the purpose was you know when that was when I started noticing the timeline shifts and I think originally the purpose was you know again just you know being sent there to help those people that are still in that mentality that haven't done the shadow work um to to get out of that energy but I think I think there's multiple reasons for these timeline shifts. And I, again, for many of us, I think it's it's too doing the shadow work, doing the purging, looking at those dark things that we didn't want to look at. Um, because I think there's a greater spiritual battle coming. And it could also be that, you know, the uh, the need to be on that timeline might have changed. Like, I don't know. I don't know if this spiritual battle that I feel coming is like has always been set in stone. Um I feel like it could be like one of those things where it's like things shifted like in the higher realms where it's like, okay, now we need people on this timeline. So, you know, to do the healing work. So they're not triggered. Like we need, it's almost like preparing, like, 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 uh, you know what I mean? Like, just, like you, like I said, you have to be prepared so that what, when this battle comes, you're not triggered by these, by demons, by, by lower forces. You're not, they're not able to, target your traumas and the, those darkest parts of yourself they're not they're not able to um to uh you know push you to be the worst version of yourself or to push you to get in your head about you know childhood trauma or, or a past relationship or whatever it might be and just make you spiral and just keep you stuck there where you're just depressed and you don't want to do anything like I said it's like you're gonna have healed that you're gonna have focused on that even though it's still a part of you even though it might hurt you know to some degree, maybe even for years and years, they're, they're not going to be able to get in your head the way they would have if you had not done the shadow work. So I feel like maybe for some, it's like maybe that that need for that like came along later where it's like at first we were like meant to help people just kind of evolve from that timeline. But now it's like there's the actual need to like kind of prepare warrior spirits for what's coming. And like I said, it's not just about you and being, you know, the version of yourself that you want to be, being the best version of yourself and, and not being so easily triggered, so easily, you know, um, so easily upset by certain things <clears throat> is also about, like I said, this relationship that's coming in. Because I just see this pe these two people that have like this light about them, whether this is a friend or a lover, whoever this is to you. It's like, you know, the, there are these lower level spirits that want to keep this apart so that you don't bring that good into the world that you're meant to bring into the world. Um, and again, on this lower timeline, it's like you guys have the uncomfortable conversation. So it's like you guys know each other's, you guys have that empathy for each other. So it's like they can't, you know, since, since you had, had gone through that, it's like they can't trigger you guys up here into like, breaking up or assuming the worst about each other or being triggered by your abandonment issues. You're like, no, I've already dealt with those. Like I've, 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 you know, felt those things. Like 
I I know this is something solid. I'm gonna I'm gonna give this a you know I'm gonna take a leap of faith even if I'm scared. I'm I'm still gonna try, you know. And I personally don't feel like those abandonment issues ever fully go away. Like in my opinion, I don't know. I'm sure there's people who have made it out of that, but I like it's like. I don't fully think it's like, just in my opinion, I don't fully think it's realistic for someone who's been through a lot of trauma to ever be like, oh yeah, I'm like 100%, you know, trust issue free, 100% abandonment issue free. Like, I don't, I don't think it's going to happen, but I think you can get to a point at least on that higher timeline where those things don't control you. You know what I mean? Where you don't like have your abandonment issues triggered and you're just like, oh, fuck this person. Like I'm running away. Like they're just going to hurt me. You know what I mean? It's like, you get to that point where you're like, I know where that issue is coming from. I know because I've been through a lot of things. I do feel like there's something different here, though. I am going to explore this and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to find that middle ground. I'm going to I'm going to balance things out. You know what I mean? It's like. Um, <clears throat> oh, my God. What else? There was other things that I channeled to you. Let me think. I, I think <coughs> that is not what I think, actually. Jesus. Ugh. <laughs> Thank you guys for being patient with me. Sorry. Uh, I think something that's happening, too, is that there are demons that are trying to find a loophole. Okay, so we have... Um, So, okay. So on this lower timeline where again, there's, there's probably multiple reasons for it. There might be something that you're meant to learn down there. There's, um, again, like dealing with your triggers, your traumas, dealing with the shadow work so that you really can evolve and have a a clean start, you know, with, with work, with love, with everything, um, in this higher timeline. And also, again, like a lot of healers are being sent to that lower timeline because they're helping people just by being there, by being themselves. They're shining that light to help others evolve to that timeline. So it's it's not like you're being punished. It's like you're just being, it, it's like a, what is that? Those people that like go overseas, not like the religious people, like the people that like go overseas and like help, like they're in really bad communities, but they're like helping them. Like they have to be there to help those people. It's like kind of like you're being, some of you are being called to that. There's multiple reasons. And I'm sure there's probably other reasons too that I may have not even channeled. Um, But what I'm getting is that th- that there's demons that are trying to find loopholes so that you don't do what you're meant to do on this lower timeline and you just stay there. I, I kind of think that there's like this battle between different spirits, like different like types of beings. And I think that's partly why we're jumping all these timelines, because it's like there are these spirits trying to pull you out of this and then there's spirits trying to pull you back. Because I got um, I was talking to another psychic today because she was agreeing with me. She was like, oh, yeah, like, you know, I'm, I'm like my clients are dealing with the same thing. Like this is a collective energy. These these timeline, these weird timeline shifts. And I was telling her, I was like, I see these like darks. Like I got like a visual of it. It's like I can't like see it, see it, but I can get like a visual like in my mind's eye. Um, you know, like like a like a you know visualization of it. But it, it's like in my mind, it's like I got this visual of um, it's like these like dark spirit hands like trying to like grab people back, like people that are going to the higher timeline. It's like they're trying to pull them back in to that lower timeline. They're trying to keep them there. And so I think that's where people are getting caught up because I think a lot of people are meant to go like to those darkest parts of their soul. They are meant to explore those parts of themselves. They are meant to purge. This is a very, very deep healing work. Maybe the most healing you've ever done in your entire life for some of you. Um, But I think that demons are trying to find this loophole where they're trying to get people stuck in that energy. They're trying to keep it. They're trying to keep those cycles continuing they're trying to keep people stuck by by pride, by fear, by ego, <coughs> by illusion, by bringing, um, like, blocking them in different ways. <coughs> oh, my gosh. Sorry. Uh, so it's like, let's say, for example, you have, like, a sexual trauma or, like, a childhood trauma or, like, a past relationship. 
and you're being triggered by something to like look at that, to purge that. You're like really feeling it, like you're deep in your emotions about it and you're really doing the purging work. Well, then there's these like these lower forces that come in that try to get you to hold on to that and stay in that vibration instead of purging it and clearing it and moving past it and balancing things out. You know what I mean? Like you're feeling, I'm sorry, this is like triggering, but I, I keep getting sexual trauma, so I got to put it out there. Um, and I know a lot of people have been through that. So, I mean, I guess it, it is a common energy, but, um, but it, it's like, they, they try to like, it's like you get triggered to like purge it, but then it's like, there's like that lower energy that comes through and is like, what if that happens again with this person? What if, what if, what if this person that, you know, what if this person does this to you? What if you're out by yourself at night and like this happens to you again? You know what I mean? Or like a relationship, maybe, um, you know, like maybe if you have all these feelings coming up, you're like, oh my God, like what, what about the last time I was hurt? What about like the last time I was like really in love with someone? Like I'm terrified of like going through that loss again. I'm terrified of like being rejected again. And it's like, you're meant to purge that. You're meant to feel that. You're meant to like, you know, clear that energy up. Um, and it's like, then there's like that lower energy, that lower spirit that comes through and is like, like, well, what if, what if it happens with this person too? What if it happens with everyone I date? What if I'm going to be alone forever? Like, what if, what if this person's exact same as this person? What if, what if I'm always, you know what I mean? Like, what if I'm always just going to be like left behind by people? It's like, it's like they, it, it's like they find that loophole to like, so you're not just, you're not letting it go. You're not purging it. You're not like, okay, that was the past. I have a new start here. Um, I'm going to remember my past experiences. I'm going to take that into account and I'm going to be careful. I'm going to be balanced. I'm going to be mindful of not repeating old patterns. Um, but I'm not going to let like one trauma or one person I really loved, like stop me from ever loving anyone again in my life. You know what I mean? It, it's like, you're being called to like do that purging and work through it. But it, it's like, again, these, like these lower forces are coming through and like making it so that you like hold on to this energy. They're trying to pull you back into that, to stay in that lower timeline so that you sabotage true love and your true love sabotages the connection with you too. So that you sabotage that dream job so that you don't see the blessings right in front of you for what they are. Um, so that you sabotage, you know, school or career or whatever it is that you want. So you don't believe in yourself. So you don't believe in your dreams. They're, they're gonna, you know, it's like they're trying to come through and make it so that you feed these insecurities so that you feed these abandonment issues and these fears instead of feeling them and acknowledging them and um you know just kind of understanding them and understanding the patterns that you you know maybe maybe you even have patterns that you maybe certain things like certain sabotage patterns that you need to work on that you need to not sabotage yourself um and taking accountability for yourself too, like letting the, e you know, putting the ego aside a little bit and being willing to, to take accountability and see your, your role in things, your role in your own suffering. You know, did you go for a certain type of person again and again and again in the past? You don't have to go for that same type of person again. It might be hard. You know, it was like that glass that she was holding on to in, the, in that dream, you know, at the, at the higher level. It was like, it was difficult. There was still work to do. But... But yeah, it's like they're just trying to trigger people to stay stuck in this loop, just going around in circles, just holding on to the same, it's like staying stagnant, holding on to the same fears, same abandonment issues, same insecurities, same, same belief system. They're trying to trigger people into not opening their minds up, into not evolving. So even though this darker timeline actually seems like it was... Um, divinely led like I said like this was meant for purging and shadow work there are these spirits coming through that are just you know confusing everyone and just kind of um you know like I said it's just just keeping people stuck there it's like they're it's like you're feeling the emotions but it's like they they put something in there like an interference that makes you get stuck on a cycle or stuck on an idea like the movie Inception is coming to mind where it's always like you've almost healed it, you've almost purged it, you've almost, you know what I mean? Like it's been triggered and you're looking at that in yourself and you're like, wait a minute, I don't want to repeat that pattern anymore. I don't want to be, um, I don't want to be the type of person that plays games with people or I don't want to be the type of person that, um, that, uh, you know, isn't honest about their feelings or I don't want to be the type of person that, uh, 
that does this or that or you know, I don't want to sabotage my relationships because of what I've been through. Or I don't want to, or I don't want to be like my mother. I don't want to be like my father, whatever it might be. And it's like, you start looking at it and you have like this divine, there's like a really big spiritual battle already going on. And I think that's why the timelines are like going crazy. I think that's a big part of it is because it's like, it, it, it's like you're, you're down there and it's like you're doing the purging work, but it's like you have these like different energies that are coming in, like these good and bad energies. Um, and dark, there's a difference between darkness and evil. There is darkness can be a good thing. Darkness isn't a bad thing. Like pain and anger, those are normal human emotions, in my opinion. Like those are very normal things to feel. But there's a difference between like darkness and like shadow work and purging and like actual like demonic evil. You know what I mean? So what I'm talking about is like demonic evil trying to come through here. Um, so it's like, yeah, like you're, you're, I know I've like repeated this. I'm just, I don't know. I feel like I'm, it's like I'm channeling these different energies and it's like, I'm just all over the place, so just bear with me. <coughs> Channeling is a lot, like, especially when you're sick. It's, but yeah, it's like you're, like, focusing on something. You're like, I don't want to be this way, or I don't want to, or I want to learn to communicate better. I want to learn to be, like, a better version of myself. And it's like you start working on it, and it's like you have, like, these high vibrational beings working with you. And then it's, like, almost like as soon as you're, it's like these these lower forces try to, like, steer you off path a little bit. They try to, like, manipulate you, and they might manipulate you from through people, like, through, like, karmics that are, like, trying to, like, keep you locked and stuck, like, stuck, like, they don't want you to go after love or money or abundance, like, they just want you to stay stuck where you're at, like, they don't want you to evolve, um, they might manipulate you through, like, temptations, like, like, oh, maybe I do just, like, want to, you know, um, I don't know what it would be like gambling, being with a bunch of different people at once, like, uh, over like drugs, whatever it might be. It's like going to be different for everybody. You know what I mean? But anyway, I'm sorry. I keep getting off track. Um, <coughs> I swear I'm like sober too. I know I probably like when I channel, I'm sure I sound like a fucking weirdo. Like I acknowledge that I probably sound weird as hell. But, like, I am 100% sober, I promise you guys. Um, but, yeah, I was, there's something there. And sometimes I repeat myself because when I repeat it, even if it's, like, multiple times, sometimes I repeat it because it's, like, then I get more information because it's, like, I'm tuning into that energy. I'm, like, no, I'm diving deep. Like, I'm digging deeper into it. So let me go back to that. Um, yeah, like, I don't want to be this way. I don't want to, like, be like my mom or my dad or I don't want to – I don't want to repeat this pattern. I want to be better than I was before. So it's like you have these high vibrational beings that are like working, you know, with you or whatever to end those patterns and those old ways of thinking and blocks, um, let go of what's no longer serving you, like, um, let go of false assumptions, let go of whatever is blocking you in your life, whatever is blocking you from true happiness, true love, true abundance, like let go of, um, you know, it's like just really facing those, like those, those demons, like those, those, um, I shouldn't say demons, those, um, like deep, dark issues that, you know, many of you have not wanted to face. So it's, it's like looking at those things, but then it's like I said, it's like, it's almost feels like when you're, I almost feel like because we're at that lower vibration when we're doing this healing work, it's like, it's, it's hard for our spirit guides. I, I almost feel like they're having difficulty. Like they're trying to protect us, but it's, it's almost like they're trying to, it, it's like, they're really coming through strong right now. Cause it's like, there's a certain way to go about the healing work and it's really easy to go down a completely different path and just spiral, spiral down. You know what I mean? Like just get confused or just get like lost in your head or just hold on to like an, an intrusive thought or like a, a negative thought and like feed it and let it turn into like this huge thing. <clears throat> so it's like these demons find that loophole where it's like they try to find that opening. They try to find, it's like they try to fight your spirit guides or they try to fight whatever, like they try to find that one opening. Like, okay, she's like, you know, dealing with this past relationship trauma and she's clearing this up and she's not going to let it block her from new love. But then they're like, wait a minute, like, and it's, it's like your spirit guides are like, like I said, like you're meant to be doing that shadow work. Like your spirit guides are there. Like your angels are there. All those spirits are like working with you on that. 
on looking that on the, at that, purging it, but having a higher perspective on it. Like, okay, that was the past. I'm going to take the lesson. I'm going to be more careful. Um, I'm not just going to pretend like that never happened, but it's, it's like, I'm going to, I'm not going to let it block me from love. But then it's like, it only takes like that minute for like some lower force to come through and just be like, well, what if this happens with this new love too? What if you get rejected again? What if you get heartbroken again? It's like, they're just, they're, they're finding an in, they're finding just like a subtle way in, um, to like throw you off course, to keep you on this karmic timeline, to just keep you stuck down here, to keep you stuck down here. Um, this is really dark and I'm sorry to say this, but I'm, I'm hearing a lot of them want you to off yourselves. I, I don't know how else to say it. There's not like a nice way to say that. You know what I mean? A lot of you are healers and psychics and you're very powerful. They don't want you in your power. They don't want you in this higher timeline with this person spreading this light in the world. They, they want, they want to keep you down here as low as they can get you to the point where you just don't want to be alive anymore. I don't know how else to say that. So you need to be mindful of that. Um, I feel like we are spiritually protected. Like our, our spirit guides are, are, it's, it's such an interesting energy. I think that's where, I think that's why I kept repeating it. Cause it's like, I think that's what I was, I was getting. Cause I'm like, okay, shouldn't people be more protected? Cause it's almost like I get this energy of like this, these, you know, these spirit guides around, like they're helping you through the, the dark purging. They're holding your, your hand through it. And then it's like this little, this little, this little dark spirit or this little, you know, some kind of negative force comes through and is like, you know, hold on to this negative thought. Don't, don't heal this. Don't purge from this. Hold on to that. That could happen again bring that into your future, bring that, bring that negative thought into your future. So you sabotage all the good things that are meant for you. So you sabotage this new love. So you sabotage this new, new friendship. So you sabotage this new career offer. And I'm like wondering how the fuck they're getting in. And it's like, God, I'm thinking about it now. Cause I think it's tricky because it's like at a such like on this timeline, it's such a lower timeline that it's like, I, cause I saw a demonic portal earlier and it's almost like there's more demons on that lower timeline. So it's really easy. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I hope that makes sense. And I could be wrong on this because I'm not fully understanding what they're trying to tell me right now. Cause I'm getting the visuals, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know what they're saying. Cause it's like, it's almost like they're having, because we're on that, like, cause people are like on that lower timeline sometimes where they have to like do that, that, you know, they're, they're going deep, they're going into that darkness. It's almost like there are more, because it's so dark, because it's so intense. I feel like, the, the, you know, on that timeline, there are more demons around. There are more tests. There are more distractions. There are, there is more chaos trying to keep us from the things that are, are meant for us, trying to keep us from evolving. Um, so it's like, they're trying to protect us, but it's like, if we that's why you have to be really mindful. You have to be very mindful right now to not let them, not let a demon or, or a negative force have that little opening. I just see like a little crack. It's almost like you have these spirit guides all around you, but there's like that little crack that they just, they sneak that one little thought into you or they sneak that one idea that just sends you spiraling and makes you sabotage yourself. So you need to be mindful of it. Amp up your protection right now. Um, amp up your protection. I would do regular protection rituals if you're in this energy group. I think most of you are. I think almost everyone is. But if you're in this, like, do protection. Don't um, keep your keep your space cleared. Keep your space cleansed. Uh, almost do more mindful shadow work. You know what I mean? Like, instead of, I mean, look at those things. Do some, like, journaling. Like, do do it in a way where there's not that opening for anything to get through, I guess is what I'm trying to say find out what that opening is. It's just a small opening, but find out what that small opening is. How, how is that energy getting through to you? What is, what is it that's allowing that to come in still? Find that opening and close it so it's just your spirit guides around you. Um, yeah, protection, protection rituals, protection spells, do those. Uncrossing, clearing, like keep, keep that, keep that up, keep it up. Be, be patient with yourself too, because you're probably going to be confused. Like I said, there's all these different, if you're on this timeline, there's all these different energies around you. It's, it is chaotic. It is confusing. Like, you know, don't, don't be hard on yourself if you feel lost. It's like, like I said, it's like there's different energies on different timelines. We're going, you know, between all these different ones. But I really think the collective, like once they really purge all this, once they're like ready, I do feel like they will be getting to that higher timeline. Um, God, this reading ended up being so long. Uh, there was fun, one final message <coughs> <clears throat> there was one final message I wanted to get to. 
I don't think I got to it yet. I might have. I, I covered so much in this reading. I'm not sure. But there was one other message I wanted to to address. That was the dream. So like the balloons, you know, she was like raising up to the ceiling. She was like, I was being, being raised up to the ceiling. And I was like freaked out because I'm like, oh my God, like if these pop, I'm going to die. And then I was holding onto this ledge and there was like this glass. So it was kind of saying like, like I said, the glass was saying like it is. And there was like that man that assisted me. And could be angel assistance to you, you know, whatever, you know, but it's like that glass was showing me like it is still going to be some work on the higher timeline too. If I it, like people trying to take the easy way out, they're like, fuck this. I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to look at this side of myself. I just want to have fun. I want to be happy. Fuck everything. Like you're still going to have that glass. You're going to, you're going to have that glass in your hand up there. It's not, you know what I mean? Like it, it's not going it, to, it's going to come up still. It, it, it's not, you know what I mean? It, it's like, you need that solid foundation to be on that timeline. I also feel like it was kind of saying like, I think it was kind of referencing self-sabotage in a way too, where it's like some of you have like your true love right in front of your face, but you're like, no, it couldn't be this easy. It couldn't be this person or it couldn't be like, it, it couldn't be this simple. Um, or you have like your dream job in front of your face and you're like, no, like I've been working at this for years and years. There's no way I'm like almost at that goal finally. Like I, it couldn't be this simple or like it could be multiple things too like dream career, like your goals. It's like you, you on this higher timeline, it's like, you're, you're like doing, you're doing it. You're, you're manifesting those things. Um, but it's like, some of you are still like sabotaging and doubting it. You're like, it couldn't be this simple. There's no, it's almost like some of you, cause I feel like the balloons are something that's like not solid. You know what I mean? And it's, it's almost like some of you like the idea of these dreams, but now that they're coming true, it's like some of you are like freaking out. Um, I remember like years ago, I was talking to a psychic about like my anxiety attacks and she's like, you know what? Like when you're having like those anxiety attacks and you fill off, you're actually at a higher level. You're actually on a higher timeline. You're just, and that's not for everyone. It's gonna be different for everybody. How, how they feel on a higher timeline. Some people aren't used to it though, but she was like, <coughs> she was like, when you're on that higher timeline, your anxiety attacks, like you're, there's just all this energy, all this energy. It's like, you're when like you're not used to it you know what I mean um she was actually like you know I think she said something about like how like on a lower vibration I'm actually like I'm like and that was years and years ago but she was like you're you're comfortable with that you're familiar with that um so it's gonna be different how people feel on higher timelines for some of you it's not and it's not gonna feel normal it's not gonna feel like you're you're, you're usual you know what I mean but it's ultimately a good thing but it's takes adjusting for some of you but um anyway at a point I was making um before I started losing my voice a little bit uh and I'm almost done here I'm just wrapping it up but um yeah some of you like the idea of your dreams is kind of how I took the, I, that was another message I was getting from that dream that I had it, it's like because I remember I had the balloons and I was like floating along like on like the you know, like, just like, like, a, like a little bit of a higher timeline, but not too high. And I was like happy. I was having fun. But then it started going higher and higher. And I was like freaking out. I'm like, oh my God, what if I fall back down? Like, I took that message as like some, some people like, cause it, it's for the channel. I can tell. Um, and I, I, I'm in this energy group too. You know, I'm, I'm sure there's messages in, in all of this for me too, but, <coughs> <coughs> but, um, I felt that energy of like self-sabotage where it's, it's like, it's like some of you like the idea of your dreams, but when your dreams are a reality, you don't know what to do. It's like, you've been trying to manifest true love for years. Or you've been trying to manifest good friendships for years. Once you have them in front of your face, you like block them or you sabotage them. Or you're like, this couldn't be this easy. This couldn't have happened this quickly. This, this is like an illusion or this is like, like this couldn't be real. You know what I mean? It's, it's like you like the idea of your dreams. You don't believe in yourself enough for them though. And that, that's where that shadow work comes into play. That's part of it is that shadow work helps you believe in yourself. It helps you believe in the right things, the right people, the things that are actually going to, you know, developing that genuine confidence so you can resonate with the right things and the right people. Um, 
So it's like, yeah, you've been trying to manifest true love and it comes in and you're like, this, this, you know, this is too easy. This, this couldn't, it couldn't be this easy. Um, you've been trying to manifest like a goal in school or career or whatever. And it's like, you're like there, you're like, you're like six months away or like less than that. And you're like, how did I complete all that? Like, how could this, how could it be this simple? Um, or you have like artistic goals or you have like, you know, maybe charity, like maybe you want to do charity work or there's certain things and it's like, you know, but when you're connected to the right people that can actually open that door for you, you're like, you're like, how could I have this? How could it, how could I have all my dreams come true like this? How could I, how could it, how could it, you know, how could this be for me? Um, sorry. So I think it, it's like saying, it's like, you like the idea of your dreams. You want them to manifest, be it love, money, career. But it's like when they're in front of your face, you don't believe that they're real. You don't believe in them. You don't believe in yourself. Um, you self-sabotage and you might not even recognize it. So I think that's part of like that glass in, in my hand in that dream. For the collective, it, it's like... It's like, cause like with the balloons, it's like in that dream, it's like, I just wanted to like, you know, be, be here and kind of not too high up and not, not far down, just kind of in this comfort zone. And then I went all the way up. Um, and it's like, I'm able to stay up there in that dream. It's like, I was, I held onto the ledge. I was able to stay in that high vibration, but, but there's that work, that glass in my hand, there's that work to be done. And that, that work is like because you wanted to skip ahead and just not do this deep shadow work, you're still going to have to look at yourself. You're still going to have to, even on this higher level, you're still going to have to look at those things that hold you back. Those, um, self-sabotaging behaviors, those, those things that have kept you blocked. You're still going to have to really acknowledge them and really put that energy and effort into you know, believe in these manifestations to embrace them, to not sabotage them, to not, you know, doubt the good things that are coming into your life, you know, to really feel worthy of them to really, um, cause you guys are so used to watching readings where it's like, love is coming, love is coming, love is coming. You, it's almost like, just like a dream, like you're, you're like a unicorn for you, like a fantasy when it's actually there. You're like, what the fuck? Like love is here. Really? Like, <laughs> like, is that like, what do you mean? Love is here. That doesn't make any sense. Like, like you don't understand how it could, how it could just suddenly be here. You're so used to it not being there. You're so used to not to not reaching those goals that when you reach them, you're like, you, you don't want to sabotage these blessings that are coming in and your spirit guides are going to make sure that you don't sabotage those blessings. So, um, yeah, I think that's, I don't there, there might be more, but it's just like, this is a really fucking long reading. I'm going to, I'm going to end it. <coughs> um, well, actually, okay. So in addition, I just want to like make sure everyone has, I know I gave a bit of advice already, but I want to make sure for people that are like, oh my God, what's going on? And again, there's like a spiritual war going on too. So it's like, there's like higher beings pulling you that are like, oh shit, like I need to pull her, pull him or pull her out of that. Cause now there's like demons taken over down here. She's not healing or he or she is not healing anymore. They're just, it, it's not what, what, what was intended to happen on that timeline isn't happening. So like, like, we'll, we'll figure another way out. Let's pull her up here. And then they try to pull you back. And then it's, it's like a, like a tug of war. You know what I mean? That's what I'm feeling. Um, but, but yeah, um, so, so the advice, uh, you know, again, try to balance ego and soul, the lower timeline, the karmic timeline, I can guarantee you is probably like a hundred percent ego or it's mo like 90% ego, 90 to a hundred percent ego, prideful, stubborn, stubborn, and stubborn in the wrong ways too, is what I mean. Stubbornness can be a good thing, but this is like a toxic kind of stubbornness, like, you know, I should apologize, but I'm not going to, I should, you know, I should make an effort, but ah, why, why bother? Why, you know, everyone's going to leave me anyway. So why bother making the effort? That kind of, that kind of energy. Um, so being mindful of all the things we talked about and really doing that shadow work and purging and doing the intentional shadow work, not just letting these spirits kind of like, you know, have you, have this fucking you know tug of war with you all over the place but actually like sitting down doing the intentional shadow work like what's blocking me from love what's blocking me from abundance from my dreams what can I do differently what are ways I might sabotage myself 
what how was my mind blocking me like just like looking at all these different things you can even like look up shadow work prompts online there's a lot of good ones out there um but yeah intentional shadow work like really sitting down and um doing that that deep inner shadow work <coughs> and making sure like again when you're triggered you're meant to purge you're not meant to hold on to it and stay in that and just have like this depressive like downward spiral where you get in your head and you get off path you know so being mindful of 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 this this healing you know going into this darkness but like doing it in a very mindful way um let's see looking at whatever that is because again i got that visual of like these spirit guides around you and there's this little um it's like there's this little opening right here and you have to figure out how is it that 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 you know these this these thoughts is it like a certain trauma what is it that's like allowing this energy to come in this little opening down here that allows this energy and that like that makes you spiral makes you spiral and keeps you stuck on that timeline address that what is that what do you need to do that close that um do the protection rituals do the uncrossing rituals um There's a lot of, if you really protect yourself, really protect yourself. There's lots of energies around right now, pulling people in different directions. People are, you're going to be, be patient with yourself. You're going to be confused while this is happening. <coughs> <coughs> but really try to protect yourself so you can get, you know, the clearest guidance that you can get. For some, it's not going to be clear. For some, you are going to get mixed messages because of all these different timelines, like, but just, 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 just be easy on yourself. Self-care is important right now. Um, what else? Again, letting go of ego, letting go of pride, letting go of like the blocks, letting go of fear, letting go of like those lower vibrational energies, um, tuning into that energy of like love of, um, like those higher vibrational energies, like really um, catching yourself when you spiral, you know, and understanding when you're just purging and it's really just intense. Like there's times you're going to, there might be times when you're like on the bathroom floor crying, but you're just purging. And then there's times when you're actually spiraling down a bad path. So you got to recognize the difference between genuine just purging that your spirit guides are leading you through and just spiraling down into into just like like you're holding on to like a certain negative thought or negative belief um and you're just going down like like again demons are trying to keep you on this karmic timeline so you don't have all the things that are meant for you so you sabotage this love so you sabotage everything so <clears throat> really working on developing genuine confidence so like you can have faith in these dreams so that when they do come in for a lot of you, they've already come in and you're like not believing in them. But for others that are like, they're coming in, like actually really like being like, okay, yeah, I deserve this. Like I worked for this. I I've waited for this for a long time. I do deserve this. I'm not going to mess this up. Um, but yeah, lots of healing work again, letting go of ego. You can't fully let go of ego, but there needs to be more of a balance of soul. That's how you get to like these better timelines is when you, when you're not just operating a hundred percent out of, you know, pride and fear and, and have all these walls up, all these, these lower vibrational energies, like actually tuning into like the energies of like love and being more open-minded. Like I always feel like when I'm on a higher timeline, I'm always very spiritually led and very spiritually open-minded. Like I can see other perspectives when I'm on a lower timeline. A lot of times I'm like very, I'm more defensive. I'm more like triggered but like when I'm on a higher timeline, I do, I do notice that like, I feel more like, I just feel more open-minded. Like I can, like, I can just, I can see other people's perspectives. I'm not like, Oh, like my way is the right way. You know what I mean? I'm like, um, like I can, I can understand different perspectives, even if they're not for me, I can get why someone would feel that way. I can have the, like the, the understanding I can hold space for them without letting them like, you know, mess me up or like get in my space too much you know what I mean like there's that balance you still gotta protect yourself of course but anyway this was really long I'm gonna put this out there so thank you guys for watching I hope it makes sense to you all